Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if you don't know who I am, my name is Shook. I make NBA DFS content, prize fix content. Um, yeah, I've been playing professional DFS for a few years now, looking to help you guys in the prop markets, all that good stuff. Um, as always, we'll recap how we did the night before. Um, we uh, went three and one. We took 80 points first half. We took Halliburton points that hit, Halliburton threes that hit, and then DeJounte Murray hooked us unfortunately um and he missed a free throw so that was unfortunate but i'm going to talk really quickly unfortunately i took points and rebounds for zubach but I was, as i was making the video it just got taken off the boards so that's fantastic but points will do it's just as it's just as good maybe a slight downgrade I, I think both are really really good if you're on sports books i took points and rebounds but points will do just as good i think it's great um good matchup here denver giving up the second most points to opposing centers as well if you're taking his points and rebounds on books per 36, he's well over that line at 21 and a half. Um, so you have a good matchup here. No Kawhi Leonard here um, on the Clippers. Should see a, um, a usage bump, a minutes bump as well. Should play over 30 minutes. This game should stay competitive as well. So for those reasons, we'll be taking Zubac over points. I wish they had points and rebounds, but just got taken off right away. Next one we're going to take is James Harden, eight and a half assists. The reason why I like this prop, once again, Kawhi Leonard's out. Should see, should see a bit more usage. He had um, 17 potential assists last game with Kawhi off the court. I don't think it's going to matter too much with Kawhi out, Kawhi in. Um, it's mainly just a potential assist type of thing. Um, Paul George going to take a ton of shots. It actually correlates nicely with Zubac. Um, that's a big part of the reason why I like this prop as well to pair with Zubac because it does correlate pretty well with him. And if you're on sports books, parlaying these two could be pretty good. Um, so that's another reason why I like pairing these two. Um, like I said, he had 17 potential assists last game with Kawhi out. Um, last five games, he's averaging, I believe, 15 and a half potential assists. Like we just need his teammates to hit about half the shots. And James Harden conversion rates are actually pretty solid, right? Um, so. Yeah, juiced on the over. Both these props are juiced on the over. Um, so if there's going to be two props. Next prop we're going to be going to is Jalen Brunson. We're going to be taking his assists at six and a half. And the reason why I like this prop is they're going up against the Sacramento Kings. We take a look at the matchup. Um, as far as assists go, it's like middle to pack. Um, not great, actually. Um, but um, should be a pace up spot here for the Knicks. But we also have Josh Hart questionable. Now, I'm not relying on this pick. For Josh Hart to be out, but even with him in, Brunson's averaging. Um, just take a look if it loads. It's NBA, NBA.com has been a little not loading of late. I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, it's just not going to load. Um, let me try this browser. Sorry, guys. Yeah, this will work. Okay, yeah, cool. Let's go to the last five games here. And let's find... Let's take that off. Let's find Jalen Brunson. ABCDFG, AJJK, LNP. What about I'm trolling? Give me one second, guys. Page six. Uh, over his last five games, averaging 13 and a half potential assists. So um, once again, we just need his teammates to basically hit about half the shots for him to hit this line. Now, for some reason, Josh Hart does get ruled out. That's also going to be a significant bump to Jalen Brunson and his facilitating, right? I like this line, even if Jalen Brunson's in, or sorry, if Josh Hart's out, in. But if there's like a 15 to 20 percent chance that Josh Hart sits tomorrow. This line is just far, far too low. It's already too low. It should be at like seven. But if Josh Hart sits, this line is just far, far too low. Um, so, like I said, I like it regardless. But if for some reason Josh Hart does sit, it's even better. Um, so, these are going to be three props. Hope you guys had a great night, and I will talk to you all later.